Brendan, congratulations. Obviously, a, a very big win for you uh, against a very durable opponent. So, I guess, uh, how do you feel about your performance in this win tonight? Um, I haven't got to watch it back. I definitely don't think it was a split based on what every single person was telling me. I haven't talked to one person so, that said it was a split, but um, you never know. People could be just be lying to your face. But <laughs> um, we'll go back and watch it, and um, I'm just happy to get the win. Obviously, I'm upset at myself that I didn't finish him. That's just self-expectation. But um, going into the fight, I knew how tough, how durable, how experienced Chris is. And, um, you know, I was supposed to fight a guy with pillow fists, and I come here and fought a guy that, that can crack. And um, we put a show on for everyone. We save the card, and um, no matter what, that's what me and Chris do. We come here, no matter what, we show up, we go to war, we put on a show for everyone at home, everyone here to watch, and that's exactly what we did, and we lived up to that expectation. Yeah, no doubt. I know you had a lot of respect for him. It seemed like you guys were conversing a little bit out there, having a fun time. Yeah, I don't know, is that challenging to go, you know, put on a show like that and, 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 you know, dig deep against a guy that you have a lot of respect for? For me personally, I, I'm at a different headspace now. Um, now that I'm growing older, I'm figuring things out, growing, growing, growing. Um, I'll have all the respect for him after. I have respect for him during, but I'm trying to win. I'm trying to put food in my kids' mouths. I'm trying to set up for a future. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a champion. So um, we both know what we signed up for. He could have easily slept me again. Um, I could have easily slept him. But um, again, we both know what we signed up for. So there's no hard feelings from my end. I don't think there's any from him. We went out there and we, we put it all on the line for everyone here So and everyone at home. Anyone can say what they want, but um, ain't nobody can do what we just went in there and did. There's, uh, there's so many guys that Chris could beat. Chris could beat anybody in the top 15 on any day. Chris is a stud, and um, we just went out there and we did what we did. You, I know you had a lot of respect for his striking. Were you surprised at how good his submission defense was as well? I mean, uh, you had it back several times and he was able to battle out. Have you seen him? He ain't got no neck. He's got big shoulders, man. Like, I was expecting that. Like, I, I was. But you see, when I actually established Mount, like, you're not going nowhere. So, um, he's, he's small. He's explosive. He's durable. Um, yeah, man, he's hard. He's, he's, he's here for a reason. He's been around the block two or three times for a reason at every level, every promotion. He's fought every top guy. There's a reason for that. There's a reason he's still here in doing what he's doing. Again, he could be anyone in the top 15 on any day. So, um, yeah, man, um, happy to have his name back. And, um, yeah, and here comes the queen of Vegas. You want to sit here? Want to sit with me? All right, love you too. You want to drop your glasses off for you? Yeah, I guess so. She said he's swelling too much, I guess. I don't, I can't see, but. <laughs> uh, it's a close fight. Came, it might, honestly, it might have been the last sequence that won you the entire fight. So did you see that, that he was hurt or, or what happened in that moment? Or obviously it was clear afterwards, but you hit him at the same time like his hamstring was hurt as well. So what was going through your mind? Did you see what happened during all that? I mean, I think, I don't know if it was my knee that popped or his. All right. I don't know if it was my knee that popped or his that popped when I had his back and I went for his leg. But uh, that's kind of why I let go. I thought it was mine that popped. But, um. It is what it is. Like I said, we both know what we signed up for. Um, I don't know. I thought I, I need to go back and watch it, obviously, but I definitely thought I landed the cleaner shots. I'm very good at making people think they hit me. Uh, there was a lot of grazes. I remember a lot of them. He hit me flush, obviously. We just did 25 minutes. I'm not going to say the man didn't hit me because he definitely hit me. But um, I definitely think I hit him way more cleaner than he hit me. I took him down. Um, I had to, to show a lot of tools tonight and um, against a veteran, and I did just that. And I, again, I haven't watched it. I haven't talked to anyone that said it was cl that close, but you're the first one, so. It was, it was a great fight. It was close to it. Uh, I guess last thing, you kind of called for the title shot. I mean, do you take a hard line in that? Like, hey, that's all I want right now. There's so much going on in the division. I mean, are there other fights that you would take or other things that interest you, or is it, is it that or nothing? Anyone who sits up here and tells you that they tell the bosses what to do is a damn liar. Unless you're Conor McGregor, you ain't telling UFC what to do. I ain't going to sit up here and act like I'm going to tell them what to do. I don't put enough asses in the seats to do that, but damn it, I have all the abilities in the world. I have all the skills in the world. I have everything that can be a champion and make it something big. For some reason, I just don't have the following, uh, but I don't care. I come to fight. I come to fight. I don't care about followers. I like to go out with my family, my friends, and uh, still be left alone. You know, I like my privacy, but... Um, for me, uh, I, I hope I can get Dickus Ness. That's the whole point, right? I want to be champion. I, I think I can clear his day, beat him in every realm, 
he's the luckiest guy I've ever seen, but I know I can beat him for sure. And um, but if they say no and they say I have I need one more, um, then it is what it is. But let's just not forget Islam fought for the belt after beating Bobby Green on short notice. So I went out there and basically just did the same thing against a tougher opponent ranking wise with a better resume, I, I would say, or a close resume. I, can, I don't know about better, but close. So um, we'll see. Brendan, to your left. Um, what does it mean to you to be a girl dad? It's different. It's different. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a boy dad because I only got two girls, but uh, it's great, man. She's. Uh, they definitely bring a whole new aspect to your life. They change a lot of things. As they get older, they get, mine's really, really sassy, like really sassy. And I don't know where she really gets it from. I guess my mom's starting to spoil her way too much that's sitting over there. Um, but um, at the end of the day, it's a blessing. She's great. I love her to death. Do anything for her and her sister. And uh, that's the reason that we go out here and fight and put it on the line. That's why uh, I'm not allowed to quit. Like, I had to dig deep in that last three minutes. And um, I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to quit. You got to put me out. That's how all my fights are. You win by putting me out. And um, to go back to your question, yeah, man, I'm, I'm in love with my girls. Hopefully I get a boy before it's over with. Um, but I love my girls. Did you hear them at all during the fight? No, my mom asked me if I did. I was just so focused. I could hear my corner. I could hear his corner. Um, that's really all I could hear. I couldn't really hear anything else. I could hear Bilal Muhammad, too. Um, <laughs> You know, we've been together a long time, training together, so I know his voice, and um, that's my boy. So I, that's really all I heard, to be honest. As a fighter, as a father, as a man, how have they improved your life and made you better? They make you strive for more. They make you want more. She's, uh, as you can see, she does what she wants. Um, yeah, that's, the motivation's different. Um, it's, it's tough, too. Um, I come from, a, from just me and my brother. My mom and my dad, my dad's a real southerner. My dad's old school, so um, <laughs> you're beautiful. So it's, um, it's a learning process, you know? We never had any girls, so my brother had his daughter, which she's somewhere around here. And um, it's all been a learning experience, learning girls. But uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a fun ride. It's a fun journey. I know it's going to get tougher. I do all the waters. Those are for you, huh? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Brindley. Brindley what? Brindley Sue. What's your sister's name? Emily. There you go. <laughs> Love that. Very cute. Uh, for you, what have they taught you most through this journey, not only in the UFC, but just in life? I think it's from them and their uncle, um, all the girls and their uncle. Like, it can always be worse. I've come to accept no matter what happens um, before walking out there. Like, I can't control the outcome. I controlled my preparation. Um, I've given everything that I had. I've worked my ass off, but um, it's going to be okay. If I lose, everything's going to be okay. I'm still, I still can provide for my family. I still do all right. They're still healthy. They're still happy. Uh, yeah. And um, they live a great life, and that's all that matters. At the end of the day, that's 25 minutes, and uh, we go back to real life. It can always be worse. I see that and know that every day, so it can always be worse. Appreciate it. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Brandon. What's up, dog? Oh, so you're a boxer now. Um, I threw kicks. What are you talking about? <laughs> and knees and elbows. Um, what was the game plan uh, coming in the fight? Um, you were boxing with uh, Chris for, for a lot of the fight. Uh, obviously, you took him down several times, but like you stood and traded with him. Was that something you wanted, like, wanted to prove, or was it just kind of like what you were feeling? No, I think... A lot of people underrate what I do, and I get bored sometimes when I'm striking. That's why, like, I think I get hit more than I, than I should. But I make, man, if you go back and watch fights, even this one, I guarantee you you'll see so many punches that you thought hit that I made miss or that just grazed. More, more, more than not, the marks on my face are skims. So, you know, I get a fat lip, but I got big lips, I guess. So, um, hey, let people think what they want. It's different when you're in there, especially in that small cage, you know, with a guy like Chris, you know. So um, I can do anything with anyone in the world. I can hang with anyone in the world in any aspect, striking, wrestling, jujitsu. I think that goes, says its own self, you know. I don't have to speak much on that. But um, I can do it all. I can do 25 minutes. This ain't the first time I've done 25 minutes. So, um I can dig deep. I can do everything. I don't have to keep speaking. My resume speaks for itself. So um, I just 
did what we were, what we practiced. We only had what two two weeks of training, and um, I just did what we worked on. Me, Tuco sat down, really did a lot of work. Henry Concho came in, did a lot of work. Andre came in, we worked. So um, you know, my team came in and they uh, they really stood up for me, and uh, you know we got it done. That's simple as that. We all hands on deck. It. Um, it was a group effort. I just went in there and did what we were taught and what we worked on. Again, I live with Tuco when I'm in camp, and um, we spend every second together. Sometimes we're fighting at each other like brothers. Sometimes we're pissing each other off. But at the end of the day, I got his back. He's got my back. And um, we're, we're through it all. We sit there and we'll talk about it when it's rough. We'll sit there and talk about it when it's good. Luckily, tonight, we're going to sit down and talk about it when it's good. He's going to go back home to, my fa to his family. I'm going to go back home to my family. And uh, we'll see each other again real soon. The first time you gone five five rounds in a minute. Um, How did you feel in there? I was ready to go five rounds last time too. Um, I know I can dig deep. We do rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds in the gym with you know some of the best guys in the whole world. They they push me, but at the end of the day, I really feel I'm the best in the world. I'm top dog, and um, self belief. I, I believe in myself. I believe in my skills. I'm very confident and. Um, Again, I'm very blessed to go out there and get the job done tonight. I don't think it was a split. You can say if it's a split or not. Someone thinks it's a split, right? I thought you won. I just thought you won in the fifth round, like the last. Like, man, if you hadn't won that last stretch, I think you could have gone the other way. Mm. That's where you clinched it Interesting. <laughs> oh, now we got a debate in the crowd. Let's go. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back, go back. I wasn't rocked. I saw everything. I literally made a miss right after. I thought it was too cheap going into the fifth, and I thought that it was good. I thought he clinched it. I literally made a miss right after. You can't say I was rocked. And I pointed at him and said, come on. I wasn't rocked. I literally made him miss and then said, come on. Yeah, we're going to debate on this one. Um, and then finally, uh, Marvin Vittori uh, ripped your performance on Twitter. I was wondering <coughs> if you saw his, saw his uh, comments. For what? He's irrelevant. He can't even make it to a fight. He don't want to fight. He can go on and say he's old news. We're going up. Um... Pillow fist. He could have got the business tonight. He could have got it this week. He could have got it in Miami. What? You want to talk now? Only time the dude wants to talk is when there's people in between us. It's that simple. We were prepping for him. We came and we got an even better, more technical guy that was that's better than him at what he does and puts people away. Who's he put away? Get the fuck out of here. We ain't worried about fucking Marvin. Right over here. What's up, bro? Obviously, we've seen you pull out great performances where you get the finish early, but do you think it's also good to showcase a fight like this where you showed your dog and really put all these five rounds together and, you know, got the win? Yeah, man, it is what it is. Sometimes you have great nights. Sometimes you have okay nights. Sometimes you have whatever, bad nights. Um, I haven't watched the fight. I don't know. I thought it was clear that I won uh, just based off of what I know and what I was in there and what I remember. Obviously, that's vague, but um, it is what it is. Still my night, still got the win, still got two checks. Still going to go home, still going to relax and uh, move up the ladder. I should be number five next week. You can't stay in your position with fucking not fighting. He ain't, he ain't fought in, what, the guy above me ain't fought in, what, almost, what, a year and a half, whatever. He was supposed to fight tonight. He backed out because of his shoulder, uh, which we knew before. Welcome to Florida. But, um, yeah, I don't. You can't win the war if you don't make it to the war. You can't talk shit if you don't make it to the war that you were supposed to come to. Simple as that. I'm here in Vegas. What? So what? Come see me. You said all that explicitly. Which camera are we looking at? Which camera? That one? This clear as day. At the end of the day, I don't care about none of this. I'm a man. You said, for Marvin, you said explicitly explicitly on media that when you saw me you were gonna beat my ass you saw me only thing you said was what's up man what's up man I ain't say a word to you nothing I see you again oh why are you looking at me like that I put my back down to walk towards you you step behind someone the only time he wants to do something is when it's in front of people so I don't give a fuck if you see me stand behind what you say if you're a man stand behind what you say that's my problem I never said anything about him what, he said something on, tw I said something on Twitter. Come on, bro, everyone's talking on Twitter. Apparently he's talking on Twitter right now. Man, it's Twitter, whatever. If you feel that way, keep the same energy when you see me in person. You've seen me multiple times. It is what it is. I'm really, I'm, I'm about whatever. 
I don't care. I ain't going to start nothing, but I ain't no bitch, and I ain't going to run away from it. So at the end of the day, that's the only thing left I have to say to Marvin. We're not going to fight unless you want to fight me here, at my gym, whatever. You're behind me. You had your chance twice. You could have fought me last year. You could have fought me tonight. I prepared. I showed up. I saved the card with Chris. So that's the last thing I'll say regarding Marvin. Say what you want. Talk what you want. When you see me, do something if you're really about it. Fair enough. And speaking of, Chris, that moment at the end there where you guys are both on the ground after the fight end, it's a pretty cool moment. So how did that feel and what was, uh, what was going on through your mind during that sequence? Man, I was tired. Shit, we, we just got after it for 20, 25 minutes. Um, again, I have nothing but respect for Chris. I, I like Chris as a human, as a fighter, as a man. I have a lot of respect for Chris. So sitting down with him, then I saw he was hurt. Fuck, I'm, I'm kind of hurting too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, again, I just have a lot of respect for him. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We went in there, we did what we did, and uh, job done. Now we can, we'll see each other at the PI, and we'll still talk, and uh, who knows? One day we might run it back again. You never uh, know. Last one for me. I know you had a choice of words for uh, Hamza Chimaev one, uh, one of these media days we had you here. Now he got booked with Robert Whitaker, so I just want to get your thoughts on that match and how you think it's going to go. Uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see a lot. A, a lot about him will, will be said. I think for once he'll have a test at this weight class, and um, we'll see what happens. Um, Rob, is, Rob is, a, is a stud. He's an OG. He's done what he's done. You know, a lot of people think he's on the down, but he just had a good fight against uh, Costa, and um, we'll see what happens. You know, this division's kind of weird. Right time, right place. You, you never know what happens, but... Um, that's an interesting fight. I really believe that's an interesting fight. But I think Rob's experience and grittiness will uh, pull him through. You know, he's, he's, he's very um, technically inclined. He's a savage when he wants to be. You know, when he has to pull that dog out, we know he has it. We've seen that with him and Yoel Romero a couple times. So um, very interesting. Young guy versus old vet. And, um, yeah, we'll see. But I, th I think Rob will pull it at the end. I, th I think his um, experience will, will bring him through. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, man. Thanks, everyone.